we know that Virginia is at a crossroads between Ethan and Dr. Masters. There's pros and cons to each. Who do you think she should be with? <laughs> or neither. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I mean, I, I know what, I, I guess everybody knows what, what ends up happening. I understand why she feels the way she feels about both of them. He ends in such a desperate place. I mean, really, kind of, it looks like he's out of options. Where are we going to see him pick up in season two? Well, I, that was one of the things I loved about the kind of storyline for him, is that he begins season one as a man who is the most, possibly the most defended, guarded, invulnerable man in the world. And he ends the season standing there in the rain saying how much he needs someone, the most vulnerable man. So I love that kind of journey. But as with most people who are not particularly comfortable with being vulnerable, I don't think that's going to last necessarily. And in fact, the more the pendulum swings one way, the more it has to swing back the other way. So there is something in him, I think, that has to punish everyone who makes him vulnerable as well. So look out, Lizzie. What is your favorite part about playing Virginia? I mean, there are so many favorite parts. It's, it really is, and I, I don't say this lightly, but it's a, it's a real honor to get to play somebody so nuanced and flawed and confused by her own station in life. It's, it's just challenging every day. I love so much about her, even her bad decisions. Does she want to go back to the study? Yes, it gives her life, I think, the most meaning, I know, the most meaning that it ever had before and will have in the future. So, yes, she does.